Greetings and good day, everyone, everyone. No matter where you are or what part of the world you are in, I hope that you are having a good day. So, um, I actually pulled one of these cards the other day for myself, and I ended up getting 33. Then the next day, I had a coaching session with one of um, my clients, and her card was 12 which is also a three um and then then card number 30 end up falling out so i'm just gonna go ahead and read what these cards say because i'm noticing this three thick theme so you got one plus two is three and you have 33 um which is a six but um Still, you have two threes and you have 30, so three plus zero is three. Okay, so the 12 is the snake. Um, snakes are highly symbolic and suggest ideas around primal knowledge, fear, deep my mysteries, healing, cycles, and duality. Because of the snake's practice of shedding its skin, it also it's also a strong representative of renewal and change snake is associated with birds as well as the ground and therefore the connection between heaven and earth various myths connect snakes to rain and to corn making him also a symbol of the continuity of life Snake is shown with a rainbow because it too is a symbol that connects the earth and the sky and the constant renewal of, or continuation of life. The message is keep in mind the cycles of life and flow with them, changing and continually growing. Your keywords are renewal, primal knowledge, magic, secret power and ability, healing cycles and connection, time of year. Is November the month of frosts okay and you see that rainbow and the snake or serpent okay let's go ahead to 33 okay 33 is the shaman The shaman walks between worlds, moving with ease between the visible and invisible worlds, and thus sees connections. Um, via his journeys to spirit, uh, he has experienced many things, suffered greatly, and learned much. His wisdom and dedication allow him to communicate with spirit on the behalf of others and bring healing to a people or an individual. He leads the living along a path of personal control that leads to true freedom and accompanies the dead to their next path, freedom from the physical world. The message here is true freedom comes through self-knowledge and discipline. Um, an understanding of the world and compassion or service for others. Keywords, liberty, freedom, ability, guidance, devotion, discipline, sacrifice, and suffering for a greater good. Time is dependent on the seeker's will. Okay. Then we have number 30. Okay. And number 30 is smoke. I didn't really show you that card. Good. That's the shaman. And here is smoke. So if you see those smoke, those are not clouds. That's smoke. You see the smoke coming from the volcano. You see smoke coming from whatever he burned. Um, and there it looks like there's maybe some of them are clouds, but it looks like it's mainly smoke coming from the volcanoes or caves. Or open caverns, whatever they are. Okay, so smoke. Smoke is purification. Smudging ceremonies. 
are ways to release the medicine in certain herbs to obtain specific effects. Sage, sweetgrass, and cedar are often used for cleansing, healing, and shifting energies from negative to positive. Tobacco is used as an offering and honoring um, because the herbs come from the earth and smoke rises up. This ritual is a way to connect earth and heaven, ourselves, and spirit. The use of fire to release an herb's medicine is also symbolic of the idea of trial by fire, a way of eliminating the useless and releasing the useful. Messages before moving on, make sure your own motives are pure and your actions tempered with beneficial energy. Keywords, purification, transformation, overcoming negative behaviors, seeking direction, out with the old and in with the new time frame is six to twelve months okay so perhaps you need to burn sage and do it for at least six months to a year um, perhaps you need to burn sweet grass to bring in sweetness you can also burn other sweet flowers like roses um, um, but that is your, those are your oracle message. This is from the Native American Oracle deck. And again, all of these cards have a three. And I thought that was interesting. So I decided to read all three of them on camera for you. Um, so you can get a better understanding of how they may uh, make sense in your life. Alright y'all, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and comment. Hit the notification bell if you'd like to see more. Thank you for watching. Later.